Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion Place of Binding Classic Rebirth. We are due for a non-Samson, non-Azazel run, which means we're due for Lazarus. I always like Lazarus, and also due for Lazarus sounds like a great title for an action movie. SVHP, Steven Seagal, Harry Potter, ZX1G. Look, uh, <laughs> I don't know any actors whose names start with 1G, unfortunately, so we're gonna find ourselves in a problem. Juan Garcia? Could we swing that? I don't even know if that's a real person, much less an actor. I'm sure there are some people named Juan Garcia. But I, I do not know. Uh, this is a huge boon for us, to get Stompy right off the bat. Because we had a feeling you would probably get Spirit Hearts. From that Tinted Rock there. Then we can come back here and actually kill ourselves on this thing right here. And then... We did get a chest out of it, which is nice. And we didn't accidentally kill ourselves by walking on it. We get Pulse Worm, it's okay. Our pill ends up being Explosive Diarrhea, which could conceivably kill us if we weren't playing intelligently, which is always a danger when you're talking about yours truly, but, you know, we've already done the Lazarus thing. I actually had a, a comment on Twitter the other day. I've gone through this before, and this person was not being an asshole. It's not me being like, you get him, you know? It's like, uh, it gives me something to talk about, so I appreciate it. They said, well, as Lazarus, why don't you wait for the first deal with the devil to kill yourself? The, the central premise of the reason I don't do that is because it's super valuable, if not essential, as Lazarus, in my opinion. Yeah, we'll take this and then I'll talk. Ooh, okay, no big deal. Um, to, to get that Lazarus bonus. You want the extra luck, you want the extra damage. The, those are the, the principal reasons I think you want to become super Lazarus, right? Anemic, whatever, doesn't really matter. Um, so, my thesis is that it's too valuable to be left in the hands of chance. I would rather have like a controlled suicide where you then come back as Lazarus for sure with a little bit of HP maybe if you can swing it. I mean, that's the reason it's controlled. Then throw caution in the wind and make it happen on the deal with the devil. Now, admittedly, on the deal with the devil is probably better because you might take those deals anyway, right? But the reason I don't like it is what happens if you fight Krampus in your first deal with the devil and then you only get angel rooms from that point on? What happens if you've, uh, if you only get red chests and the red chests don't provide you with anything of value? What happens if you skipped HP upgrades because you're like, oh, I don't need to take these if I'm just going to kill myself on the deal with the devil anyway. And as a result, uh, find yourself, you know, maybe two or three HP down versus where you would be if you had just done it on the first floor. So that's not me necessarily saying it's it's exclusively the right domain, you know, to, to kill yourself on the first floor. It's just I would rather have it within my control than to some extent left up to the whims of chance. But you know, basically what you want to do is leave the first floor or the second floor in the exact same position you were in, or even stronger of a position HP-wise if possible as Lazarus, after the suicide that you were before. And, you know, we're only one HP away from pretty much being at that point, plus having the damage bonus and everything else that comes along with it. And I would say that that probably seals the deal for us right there. So I'm pretty happy with where we're at. And then we can take deals with the devil, or we can ignore them, or we can do whatever. Doesn't matter, is what I'm trying to get at. Uh, by not taking... Any HP after picking up old bandage, this door is actually going to be open to me. The, the door to get into our boss trap room. I can't believe I didn't get hit there. It's not necessarily riveting or anything like that, but red chests might be worth opening. And there are three of them. I think I'll try to go to maybe the item room first. And actually, if I can get like a teleport card, I'd rather just open those chests and then dip the heck out. But, you know, we'll see if that's going to be possible. You're, you're going to notice some frame rate drops as well. No crashes recently, but the drops, you know, the drops can happen. Let's remember our HP right now as well because of Curse of uh, the Unknown. We got two red hearts, one of them is not filled, and then we have a uh, a spirit heart and a half backing us up. So we know exactly where to go here. This is going to slow us down a little bit, but I think it's worth it. You want to try to find our secret room? Me neither. One of my friends uh, in, in our freshman year of university told me this story. He told me in confidence. He's like, yo, don't tell anybody this. Definitely do not tell 40,000 strangers on the internet eight years after I tell you this story. But it's not actually like a story that reflects poorly on his character. It's just a funny story that's a little embarrassing because he was the subject of it. But he was like four years old and his brother was like eight. One day his brother came home and was like, Michael, you'll never, he's actually, you know, from British. But he's like, Michael, you'll never believe what I learned about today sexual intercourse and then he explained you know sex is when two people's bellies touch or something like that and then my friend being four years old didn't really understand but he you know my older brother's talking to me that's sweet right and then he was just like cool you want to try it and then that's the that's the it's better if you know him probably but that's my story that's my story uh what do you want to do here oh money equals power i asked and have received 
Uh, thank you. I think I'll go to the curse room. This might be ridiculous. I'm gonna go to the curse room, get whatever's in here, and then exit. And then I'm gonna use the Emperor card to get out of the mob or the boss trap room. Why on earth would I sacrifice half a spirit heart willingly? Because I value that half a spirit heart less than I value having to fight the shit in this room. Which is not to say that this room's gonna necessarily cause me to take more damage than I would have otherwise. Just that I really don't want to go through the hassle of fighting these enemies. It was suboptimal! Full health. It was highly suboptimal! We got a tears downgrade. And full health, which actually did give me one red heart. Fucking whoop de doo Amazing. Um, and our curse room is obviously hot trash as well. Hot trash in the city. Man, this is two frames per second out of Dingle Dangle here. Okay. Charge me, little bitch. You won't. Probably. Until about two seconds from now when you will. Because there's a lot of dips on the screen now. Okay. Okay, I'm very excited for Afterbirth to come out so we can actually start dying or at least taking really, really dumb damage against first floor bosses again. And that way, you know, I remember being like, Dingle, Dingle, I don't know his patterns, it's so hard. Now it's like automatic. Squeezy's fine here. Extra survivability. We got at least two red hearts. And this is Krampus, man. So that's this is the exact case study of why I don't like to wait for the deal with the devil to do my Lazarus suicides. Prefer to just knock him out right off the bat so I get that damage bonus ASAP. It's kind of like the same, same principle as playing uh, as Eve. It's like, well, why not wait till you get hit to enter the Whore of Babylon state? There's, there's some validity to that, but I also just like having some semblance of control over it right from the get-go. And I think that's valuable. Curse room? Yeah, let's do it right off the bat. I'm ready. Yeah, there we go. Nine lives. I assume Lazarus Rags probably pops before that, so that might not be a... a perfect case study for what I was saying earlier, but I was like, if nine lives shows up, maybe you don't get the Lazarus bonus for a while, but I'm pretty sure the Lazarus bonus pops first or last. That's probably not very helpful now that I think about it. So Lump of Coal is good. I'm very happy to have that. Money equals power is incredible. Uh, it's enough to make me not want to uh, spend any money over the course of the entire run, just so we can stack up our damage. And Lump of Coal is fine too. We've had a tears down and a tears up, so we're probably like in roughly, you know, base tiers situation. DPS is not particularly strong, but, you know, money equals power can grow that pretty quickly in the future. Plus, we have Stompy, so we should just be able to, you know, stomp pots if we find them. Maybe find a crawl space or something. Mini Mush is good, actually. I, I didn't mean to leave without picking it up. I just wanted to make sure I got the penny. Uh, we could really use the speed from Mini Mush right now. It's, it's kind of been a problem. Or a, at least a foreseeable problem for the future. Good. I didn't even know that guy had been hit. These guys are some of the most annoying enemies you can face on this floor, but if we can keep them far away and kind of wedged into the wall like a painting, that's going to be good for us. That's how I like my paintings. Keep, <laughs> I treat my spiders like I keep, uh, treat my paintings wedged away for 15 feet away in the wall. It doesn't really work. This is one of the laziest forms of joke, I think. The laziest archetypes. I like my blank like I like my coffee. It was the super, like, racist, sexist jokes that come to that. I like my tea like I like my coffee without any cream and sugar. There, that's, that's as PG-13 as I get. And I'd like to say I apologize to all the tea drinkers out there. I don't mean to offend, you know, obviously I'm joking. Hopefully that's what they realized. Um... Oh, now people are gonna be- Tea drinker's gonna be mad at me. I take my tea with two cups of milk in it, or two scoops of moo milk, you asshole. Two scoops of moo milk. That is not what I meant to say. I actually meant to say two scoops of moon milk. So, I don't not want to buy champion's belts. Can I get into- There we go, that's where I'm going. Um, I would- I would probably buy champion's belt. My reasoning there is that, sure, it may or may not be as much damage as money equals power. However, we could buy it and then still get that money back from money equals power. If we don't buy it, we'll never get to get it. So I think we'll probably go back and purchase it, but I want to see if we can get maybe a, a deal with the devil with a flying item here, or even a deal with the angel with a flying item would be so good because there's two golden poops. Golden poops in the city. Doesn't really work. Had bad luck with Stompy lately too. Like, uh, not anything particularly terrible, just no crawl spaces or black markets. We did get a deal with the devil and a cube of meats. Uh, and we can fly, so we will take that, and the whole reason we're taking this is so that I can crack open this, 
and crack open this. And with that now done, we'll be able to generate quite a lot of money, quite a lot of money indeed. You want to try it? We'll open this up, and that is more bombs, which as far as I'm concerned is substantially amazing for us, because we're going to get lots of money out of those bombs. We will buy Champion's Belt as a result of this. And we'll hopefully have enough money to not have to worry about our DPS too much regardless. So 24 is about one damage up, so it's like a small rock's worth. And then Champion's Belt, I actually don't know how much Champion's Belt is worth. But we'll head down to the next floor with a lot of hope in our hearts that we're going to be able to get to, you know, a good amount of money and thus a high damage bonus pretty quickly here. More guppy items. Maybe, but we don't know yet. Uh, I'm going to be stupid, okay? And uh, let me just tell you that I'm going to be stupid first. The reason I'm going to be stupid and gamble like that is because this life, and maybe I'm taking this to its illogical extreme here, um, but this life is basically meaningless. We have half a spirit heart. We had one and a half before. Um, I don't really care about this life. It's probably not going to be the life that wins us the game. If it is, it, it's not going to matter if we spend too much HP on it, so we might as well just swing for the fences and try to, like, sacrifice temporary pain for a permanent damage bonus that's going to be better for us. Now, admittedly, I wish we'd sacrificed a little bit less because I would like to get inside of that curse room and uh, maybe give ourselves some benefit as a result of that, but that's, uh, you know, there's no use crying over spilt moon milk. Now, with you all dead and us becoming fiscal powerhouses, We'll move along here. We have Stompy, so we should definitely not stomp the mushrooms just yet. We might want to pump, pump the jam, pump it up while our feet are stomping, but uh, start with that. That was a little dangerous. The game uh, got a little framey there and scared me. I think I might be able to recover from display driver crashes now, but I don't know. Well, hopefully we'll never find out. Bum friend. I actually, I hate to say it, I think I'm just going to leave it here. I don't think I have much interest in this, in this at all. Uh, greed, big money fight. Yeah, okay. Steam sale is fine because it'll also allow us to spend less damage to get uh, shop items in the future. But what we'd really like the most is just a decent amount of money. Traded a key for like eight cents combined there. That's not too bad. It's not too good, but it's not too bad either. And if we can just keep gaining like, you know, even 15 cents per floor. That's pretty excellent for us. Wheel of Fortune, we can blow that up in the future and get a benefit out of it. Um, yes, Liberty Cap we don't want, but I like your style. My car's broke down and you sing real nice, would you? Let me ride! Anyway. I've got a pocket full of money and it's going real swell. Next stop is the... Chess! <laughs> I mean, R.I.P. Nate Dog. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna slander your living memory like that. Okay, uh, if I put down Wheel of Fortune, it will still not deal damage, uh, or it, it'll not get killed by Mega Fatty even if he jumps on it. So I'm thinking that's like a, a much less priority than I previously might have been thinking about. Get that dip killed. Want to keep moving when you fight Mega Fatty because of the, uh, the quick jump that he can do, obviously. Anytime you've got him kind of like wedged into a predictable pattern, that's the best time for you. You should never dodge against his, uh, area of fire like I just did. Let's see what our pills are before we go in. Two full health, so we'll take one in. And yeah, we'll take the pentagram, of course. It will kill us. We should still have the Lazarus bonus, I think. Got paralysis, full health, amnesia. I think we'll just head down to the next floor. That amnesia pill kind of seals it. I could have gone back and played the blood bank, gone to the curse room, uh, but I didn't want to, I didn't want to find my way, if I'm being honest. Just lazy. I'll be the first to admit, oh, a golden key is actually uh, exactly the impetus I need to get in here. Now, we have gotten deals with the devil on like every single floor. You'd expect that that would stop. But uh, with our pickup of the pentagram, it's actually like more likely to happen now than ever. So, well, that's not technically true, but let's just go with it because it builds a nice narrative. And we'll try to keep the, the damage train rolling here. I already picked up a few extra cents here. And the ability to fly is definitely going to make it plausible for us to not take uh, damage. And if we don't take damage, we have a surprising chance to live. And if we live, we'll probably win the game, is my suggestion. Uh, what do you think? I do want to go to this. We can't justify it before seeing if we get a deal with the devil, though. Probably we put down Wheel of Fortune here and just blow them both up. Got a decent amount of money out of both of them to 48 cents. I think it's like 8 cents on the floor so far. 
I know people are gonna be saying, hey, well, NL, what do you expect? You're never gonna get a crawl space if you don't break all the rocks. Lo well, what do you expect? You've been watching me for a long time, never gonna break all the rocks. I still would like a crawl space. I realize you can't have your cake and eat it too. Mostly I'm just venting a little bit. Sometimes you will get a crawl space early in the game because there's less rocks to crack, but we've, we've had bad luck with even that lately. This is like, uh, it's shaping up to be very similar to our last run, actually. Um, pretty much glass cannon, except we got a little bit more of the cannon aspect here, I think. On our last run, we mostly just had glass. This one, there's a little bit of extra uh, positivity in the damage department here, I think. But same, like, speed and everything. Like, we were very fast on the last run. Uh, or fast enough, at least, to get to boss rush. The devil card is good. Good enough, at least. Picking up some consumables now that I don't actually have to use them for nothing. And that's anemic, which I think we already had the effect of, but... And when I say but, you know what's coming next. It's still pretty shitty either way. <laughs> it's probably our secret room right there. And eh, tempting to play that guy too. Hmm. Well, a spirit heart is a good pickup. And then we can afford to play that guy. Once. Actually, we could have done it twice, but... It's okay. I, I do like one to two shotting absolutely everything right now. If we could have more of that happen, I'd be pretty thrilled. Half Red Heart, that's more for the Demon Judgment. He'll pay out one of these days. Doesn't have to be right now. We got time. Should shoot those. May not. When I said we have time, I, I might have been exaggerating slightly. I'll probably leave after we kill this boss, depending on what payout we get. Regular Monstro 2. And by regular Monstro 2, I mean Champion Monstro 2. I think this is the one that is fast, but maybe a little less tanky. Based on the fact that he's fast, but he seems to be a little less tanky. That's my suggestion right now. Of what we're fighting. It'd be awesome if you did your laser attack, and then we could do a little bit of orbital damage. And pretty much we are good to go here. I'd like to get some more HP, actually. We could, we could definitely do with that right now, and then play the Demon Judgment. Maybe get a Ceremonial Robes or something. But instead, we get Blood Clot. There's nothing wrong with that either. It's not what we want, but... Uh, that's okay. We should go to our curse room as well, just in case we got a guppy chance. Little latent guppy chance I haven't really been uh, paying too much attention to, but we do have nine lives. Well, we have the, we have a uh, dead cat. We don't have nine lives anymore. We have eight. And that's okay, too. Man, curse rooms. Just, you know, more bunk than a bed right now. It was not my best pun, but uh, we're probably just going to ignore that red heart. We don't have a blood bank or anything to play right now. So we're looking for a teleport card. Very conceivable we could get into boss rush. And we're kind of in like this feast or famine mode right now. That's fine. It's not great, but it's fine. Um, you know, when I say we're in this feast or famine mode, what I basically mean is we want to get to boss rush because one item could make all the difference depending on what our item is. And if we don't get that item, well, we're going to be famining. We are famining. I'm going to... Take a little bit of extra time just to see if we can get a chance for a Demon Judgment payout with a Red Heart or something. I know there's a Red Heart in the Curse Room, but we have to spend half a Spirit Heart to get it, so not that interested. Money equals power, working well for us. Blood Bank, I am interested in playing this, of course. This is our Teleport card. This is where we get it, right here. World card will pop first. That's step one, I guess. Lover's card will just throw down there. Kill these guys, and we do have to keep a little bit of a good pace, but this room is a, a godsend, honestly. Wheel of Fortune, we'll just throw down, we'll get ready to pop it at some point in the future. More red hearts. Wow, actually didn't get what I needed to get there. That's pretty good, though. We'll take our second guppy item, even though Gimpy's a better... I, I walked into the fire. My brain said, you know what you need right now? To walk into the fire. That's where the deal with the devil item is contained, right? The fucking fire. Okay, well, at least we got our second guppy item. That was still unbelievably stupid. Thanks a lot, Brain. Who is also me. Yo, dog, did you know the Brain? Are you ready for this? The Brain named it fucking self, dog. You ever think about that? The Brain named itself. Holy shit. I'm, I'm being a little facetious. I mean, it's not that it's not amazing. It's just that I'm sick of the, like that text on the Crab Nebula popping up on my Facebook feed. Uh, yo, have you ever considered that the brain named itself, man? If you've ever been guilty of posting that, you shouldn't feel bad, all right? Everybody's done it. 
Ooh. Everybody's had those weird, you know, scientific discoveries without being a scientist, you know? How, how have scientists not thought of this? You don't have to feel bad just because I'm being an asshole. But I don't like people who put milk in their tea. All right, there I said it. I'm being facetious. You're, you're all cool with me, for the most part. Whoa, a little dangerous. As long as you turn on your signal lights when you drive, we're we're uh, we're Gucci. I don't care. But if you don't turn on your signal lights when you drive, I would love for you to submit an impassioned plea to me. Why you don't turn on your signal lights when you drive? Uh, well, it takes two seconds. I don't want ah, mom's knife. We have won the game. Um, it takes two seconds. I don't want to do it. Just do it. Makes you less likely to die. You understand how stupid it is that you're not... It takes two extra seconds. Yeah, I realize that it lowers my chance of death immediately. Not death 25 years from now, like, uh, you know, not eating cheeseburgers would. You know, that requires, like, long-term discipline. All this requires is you turn your signal light on. Two seconds, it lowers your chance of dying. Or of your, like, $30,000 car being hit by another $30,000 car that could, like, kill you and your family. Like, don't... It doesn't even take two seconds, man. It takes like a quarter of one sound. You know what? I'm getting a little too far into this. We might, uh... Uh... I'll fucking do it, you goddamn savage. Just kill me! Kill me! Save the girl! Seriously, I want to die so I can leave this room. Thank you. And then we will D100. This looks pretty good, honestly. This might be the run we stick with. I see you got like Dead Onion. Really shitty like shot speed. But the shots are huge. Oh no, we have Strange Attractor. <laughs> All bets are off now. We've also probably fucked our deal with the Devil Chance. So we don't have money equals power. But hey, I mean, if I wanted to win, I would have just stuck with the, the run we already had. This run is at least more interesting. I think we have uh, Infestation 2? Or is that... that no, that's in... That's Infestation 2, is it not? We're, we're generating spiders for something, at least. We got some lifesteal, I think, as well. We're doing a lot of damage. This could be a workable run. I'm not sure if it's going to be the run I stick with, but it definitely does not seem bad. It actually seems very good in spite of, uh, in spite of Strange Attractor. But we'll have a reroll ready in case we want to. We're like one or two shotting everything. How is that one not dead, is a question I would like to ask. Pinky Eye? No, I think we'll stick with Counterfeit Penny, despite having, uh, 99 cents. Why would I do this, you ask? Well, there's not actually a good reason. But, um, mostly laziness. But also making sure that I don't lose a good tier effect for a shitty tier effect like Poisoning. And it is kind of shitty, as far as tier effects go. Not as bad as, like, Fear by itself, but not nearly as good as something like Slow. Or freeze even is much better than slow. Um, you wanna, let's take some cracks at a reroll here. Oh, I, I forgot to rerolls the batteries. I was like, well, we got a really good chance to do something good with it. We are very slow. We have like Monstro's Lung Tech 2. We can fly though, so Lord of the Flies is going to be uh, Kaiser Permanente for us. Uh, we actually don't have Homing Laser. We have uh, like Charm Laser. This one sucks. This run will be getting rerolled. It's, it's good enough to beat the game, but not good enough to like be happy to stick with. If you know what I mean. That was pretty piss poor damage. Like, we actually have some decent damage ourselves, but... The combination of items is not good. Uh, goodbye punching bag, I guess. Oh, we have Taurus as well, which seems to always show up on these uh, rerolled runs. That would explain why our speed is absolute horseshit. Yeah, that's, that's not wrong. I can wait. Uh... <laughs> Like I said, surprisingly shitty damage, but... Uh, the the Monstro's lung damage is actually really good. It's the, it's the tech damage, as you might expect. It is hot-ass garbage. Uh, we should probably kill Mom's heart. Or is this... This is the deal with the Devil Floor, isn't it? Yeah, we should probably uh, kill this boss without re-rolling. Just because we know what we have, and we know we can win with it. And then we'll re-roll on uh, the, the Womb 2, and then we at least have a... Uh, perhaps a longer chance, if nothing else, to to resolve uh, any problems we might have. Like, if I have to reroll myself two more times to get a good run, then we can do that. Deal with the devil? Nope. 
Magic Scab. And then we'll reroll our whole run, and we get like Bob's Brain. Ex incredibly slow rate of fire, like anti-grab magic mush. There is a Rodden Baby involved here. There might be BFF as well. That at least gives us the ability to get through some rooms here. We're very fast. That's very positive. I just want to... Oh, we have Tiny Planet too. A Tiny Planet, unbelievably bad rate of fire. But all we got to do is get through a few rooms. We, might, we have Shielded Tears too, but we might actually do a decent amount of damage. It's just hard to tell. Like these guys, I have no idea what we're going to do. Didn't really mean for that to happen. What? How many freaking hands are there? Are we going to have to actually use Bob's brain on every single one of you? I would prefer not to. I hate to lose this run because we've got some good familiars, but it's just like not nearly worth enough. There's there's so much sub-optimization happening here. Luckily, lots of HP, so we're not, like, fucked in that department. Uh, is that a Tinted Rock? I think it was. We're not gonna reroll that. We'll, we'll do something else. This room's getting a touch framey. That's okay. I mean, our damage is actually really, really good when our shots hit. As you can see right there. Come on, Rotten Baby. Your flies are better than that. You know it. Uh, I'm just thinking, like, let's do the easy rooms. And then we'll, uh, then we'll re-roll. We want to keep the map as well, or I should say we want to keep the world, because we can use that world card uh, to provide us with some very useful benefits. Once we get to the chest, for example, we could use it to skip almost the entirety of the chest, which to me sounds like a good way to spend your Sunday here. Not by, I mean, not skip, I guess, but... You know, not have to do things you don't have to do. Let's re-roll our whole run. This one was not quite good enough. Um, like, soy milk, rubber cement, death's touch, we still have Bob's brain. This is hilarious. I don't know if it's any good. I don't know, man. This one... I got to admit that it is pretty funny. Like, our scythes are so incredibly small. We also have Maggie's Faith, or I should say Maggie's Bow. Um, we picked up Small Rock, right? I think we did. Unless, did we re-roll Small Rock into something else? If we did, I was going to say I'll never forgive myself, but that's not true. I will forgive myself. It'll just... I'll, I'll recognize, oh, Northern Lion, you're being silly again. Made a lot of stupid mistakes lately. I think I've been preoccupied with uh, the computer stuff. You know, my, my headspace maybe hasn't been in the right place for, for making the best decisions in Isaac. For example, I might be considering sticking with this run right here. Probably wouldn't go down as my best decision ever, but might be one of the funnier ones recently at least. That's probably our secret room. Just has a nice little secret roominess about it. And we definitely do not need three cents. Some of the tiniest tiers I've ever seen. But it's weirdly kind of like not that impressive like it's not that weird and it's not that good or bad it's just kind of like surprisingly average for such a strange run I, i'd like to thank my oh wait i don't have uh, rotten baby anymore that's an actual like uh, attack fly i think we have the wafer too that is pretty sweet then you know what we might roll with it i mean we are obviously rolling with it but we might continue to roll with it Bad damage, but that's okay. It might be the cancer item? We might actually have both, now that I look at it. I know that sounds like a ridiculous claim, but... The longer I look at it, like the more it seems to be true. This wasn't that bad. We at least made it work, so we'll probably use the world card on the cathedral. See what we get there. I can't resist. We're gonna re-roll our whole run. This one is like Cursed Eye, Tiny Planet again, so maybe we didn't have Tiny Planet before. Homing Tears with Proptosis, also some form of technology. Oh, and Isaac's Heart, of course. Um, I thought I had a fully charged shot, but apparently not. I actually think this run is awesome. So I will be sticking with this. That's Tech Point 5. I will, oh, that's me being stupid. I'll be sticking with this. 
Uh, I don't know how good it's actually gonna be, but we're gonna stick with it regardless. And if it gets really shitty on the Isaac fight, we can always reroll it. But our tears are doing a lot of damage. Daddy Long Legs is like a reroll superstar. I think we should maybe just focus on hitting him with tech point five. Oh, fucking Isaac's heart, man. Takes forever to charge up a full shot because of this freaking polyphemus stuff. Just don't get hit and every shot does so much damage. Okay, keep yourself safe. One shot is enough to finish this off. Perfect, okay. We're still alive, not even in that bad of a position. And again, if you're about to die, you can reroll and probably reroll into HP. Fucking Isaac's heart, man, it's so annoying. Uh, uh, Ipecac, oh god. Um, I, we, we obviously, like, you might be saying, take Ipecac. We can't take Ipecac on this run. We will kill ourselves. Let's take Ipecac and see how it works. Because if it goes badly, we could always just reroll everything, right? Oh, good. Fire mine as well. Look, I'm not saying this one's going to be easy. I'm just saying it's going to be fun. Ah! Oh, no. Oh, no. Where am I? Tech point five. Do the damage. I mean, the damage, even without ever using the Ipecac shots here, is incredible. Enough to win the game? I, I believe so, yes. Especially with that full health pill. Oh, let's just find our boss and win then. I didn't realize that it would actually turn out to be so easy. We just really need to not teleport. I'll admit though, it's tempting to just drop one. Just drop one and then be safe. No! He was dead! He was dead, damn it! I don't know where we are anymore. I thought we already killed these guys. Maybe that, those, those were polycephaluses. I'm very confused. We almost had like a, a very fast run there. It has been squandered, that's okay. Oh, fucking Isaac's heart on this room. I apologize for my language. You tell me I got a spirit heart out of that. Go, go, gotta go. Um, I don't really want to reroll our whole run. I love it. I love it. It's weird. I like the damage. Most of all, I love the way I hate. I don't hate it. Not even a little bit. Not even at all. But I, I hate our teleporting. I'll admit that readily. Oh, we got a chest. We should check that. We gotta finish the run before the display driver crashes, game. Have you no mercy? Where is my war buddy at? Oh, there he is. Killed him without even being able to see where he was. We don't know. Eh, what do I care about a deck of cards at this point? I could get an Emperor card. I could uh, freaking make my whole house out of Emperor cards if this damage keeps up. What does that mean? I don't know. This means we're doing well, okay? Don't question it. Okay, another Spirit Heart upcoming. No. Oh, oh, yes, there it was. It was just trapped under my enormous laser. Happens all the time, ladies. Hey, is your penis a concentrated beam of light? Because I, it's a laser, it's a laser beam. Uh, let's just shoot, let's like, let's just hold the button down is what I'm trying to say here. I'm not gonna take a shot here and risk teleporting because we have already won. And the D100, you proved yourself good today, kid. You proved yourself good. Our next one, I don't even know. We look pretty badass, though, I gotta admit. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.